Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Escape from Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off on Jambalaya Island in the Star Buccaneers. About to um, take a look around this place and see if we can start assembling the pieces for the ultimate insult, which we have got on the back of this map here. So we've got to put those bits together. There's a bronze hat, uh, a silver head, I think, and a gold body. Um, we'll sort of figure that out as we go along. But first, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always, guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. Okay, let's do this. Uh, so the good news is that my cold seems to have mostly cleared up now, so apologies again for all the sniffing in the last episode. Hopefully it will be a lot better this time. Uh, I am feeling a lot better, so fingers crossed. Uh, What's this? Mini bagels. Oh yeah, I think we need these. It's a tray full of mini bagels with some kind of weird pasty goop on top. Yeah, I think that the uh... goop you are referring to is Star Buccaneer's own Schmearwiz. Oh, Schmearwiz, yes, yeah, good. A blend of artificial cream cheese and salmon lock bits with the convenience of a spray-on can. Um, great. We're giving Sounds away disgusting. free samples today as a promotion, so please help yourself. Uh, okay, thanks. Um, um sir. I'm not sure what you're doing, but I'm sure it's against company policy. I'm literally just putting the smeary thing away. Um, yeah, about that. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Um, right, let's take a look at all this crap, shall we? Star Buccaneers logo merchandise. Logo mugs, t-shirts, thermoses, coffee pitchers, and a few items that I don't recognize. <laughs> what a ripoff! I could get any of these things for a tenth of the price back on Melee Island. Yes, but you'd still be on Melee Island. What's wrong with Melee Island, ma'am? What's this ship decoration? It's a ship riding a wave out of a big coffee cup. How oh, cute. In a corporate retail sort of way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's this umbrella bucket? A small bucket of Star Buccaneers logo umbrellas. I sure don't want a trendy, overpriced Star Buccaneers umbrella. I've never even seen it rain in the Tri-Island area. Yeah, no one wants one of those. Um, what's in the shopping bag? Touristy stuff mostly. Lots of coffee and a Star Buccaneers logo coffee cup. Oh yeah, I think we need that coffee cup. Uh, what happened to that mug we picked up? Of oh, empty grogachino cup. That's it. Uh, anyway, let's talk to this woman. Touristy stuff mostly. No. Pardon me. Yes. Uh, you don't look like any pirate that I've ever seen. You don't look like any pirate that I've ever seen. A pirate. <laughs> I'm a dental hygienist, mister! What's a dental hygienist doing in the Caribbean? Well, I'm on vacation, silly! Oh, yeah. Isn't it a little bit dangerous to be vacationing in a pirate-infested waters? Isn't it a little dangerous to be vacationing in pirate-infested waters? Danger? Ha! I laugh at danger! <laughs> Besides, I read about how Aussie Mandrill's been rehabilitating Jambalaya's pirates, making oh. the island safe for sightseers and cute little shops like this. Yeah, have you seen any unrehabilitated pirates? Have you seen any unrehabilitated pirates? Not one! Isn't that great? Well, there's one right here. Great. Uh, what would you say if I told you that I was an unrehabilitated pirate? What would you say if I told you that I was an unrehabilitated pirate? I'd say you were being a big silly! Well, I'm not. Baby, that outfit is making me hungry. <laughs> Baby, that outfit is making me hungry. Don't get fresh, local boy! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, do you know where I can find the pieces of the ultimate insult? Do you know where I can find the pieces of the ultimate insult? Is that a new kind of frappuccino maker? No. no. It's a malevolent voodoo talisman of gut-wrenching power. I'm trying to stop an undead evil pirate from assembling it. Ooh, that sounds exciting! What do the pieces look like? This. Uh, one of the pieces looks like a golden man. One of the pieces looks like a golden man. Oh, you know, I believe the local cliff diving competition has a trophy that looks like ah. that. Ah. Really? I think so. There was a picture of it in the travel guide. That's right, okay. Uh, so you think the golden man might be the diving trophy? So you think the golden man might be the diving trophy? That's what I remember from the travel guide. Okay, the travel guide, okay. One of the pieces looks like a bronze pirate hat. One of the pieces looks like a bronze pirate hat. Hmm, nope, can't think of anything. Oh, okay. One of the pieces looks like a silver monkey head. One of the pieces looks like a silver monkey head. A silver monkey head, huh? Sorry, I'm drawing a big old blank. Sounds okay. exotic, though. If you find the shop that sells them, let me know. Fair enough. Uh, I've had enough talking about this. I've had just about enough talking about the ultimate insult for now. Fine! Uh, right, if I remember right... 
I see you bought one of those. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm picking up some bags of this absolutely fabulous Star Buccaneers coffee. You just can't get coffee like this at home. Of course you can. There are thousands of Star Buccaneers. <laughs> yeah, but these have Jambalaya Island stamped on them. My <laughs> friends at home will be so envious. It's so funny. I still say that coffee is coffee is coffee. I still say that coffee is coffee is coffee. Well, of course you do, you poor unsophisticated pirate. The locals never seem to appreciate what they have. I love the way that it pokes fun at sort of coffee chains, it's so funny. I see you brought one of those great Star Buccaneers coffee mugs. I see you bought one of those great Star Buccaneers coffee mugs. You bet I did, my friends will just die! Can I have it? What? Of course not! Get your own! Yeah, so we need that mug. Please, may I have that coffee mug? What? Of course not! Get your own! Okay, uh... How do we get it? Please, may I have that coffee I think we have to destruct her. Of course not. Destruct, not destruct. Um, I'll just be on my way. Ta! I'm sure we have to. I think she'll notice if I try to take the whole bag. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, There's a sale on coffee beans. Oh my word! Really? Yoink! Oops, my mistake. You almost gave me a heart attack. <laughs> that is one of my favourite lines in this whole game. Me and my brothers used to absolutely crack up on that. Um, I don't know why, it's just the You always gave me a heart attack! Thing. It's just, I don't know. It's, it probably sounds stupid to you guys, but we used to laugh about that for absolute ages. And still even now, we'll drop it into a conversation and just crack up about it. Um, I don't know, it's just funny. There's just something about that line which just used to put us in hysterics as kids. I think it's the way she says it, I don't know. But it's just good memories. Um... If I remember right, let's look at this. It's an overpriced, trendy mug with the Star Buccaneers logo on it. I think we have to stick something over the top of it to turn it into the monkey head thing, if I remember right. Although I can't remember what we stick on top of it. But I'm sure there was something like that. Um, but anyway, let's go over this way now. And we'll go check out this trendy Ladies place. And, gentlemen, mesures, and look who it is outside. It's Welcome Murray! Murray? Murray the evil skull? Guybrush? Guybrush, the mortal pirate? Wow, it is a small world after all. Now, if you remember at the end of Curse of Monkey Island, he did say he'd be back. Um, and when I played this as a kid, I had no idea who this was. I knew that Guybrush knew him, and I assumed it was from the Curse of Monkey Island, but I'd never played it. So now that we've played the Curse of Monkey Island, I fully understand who this is. It's actually pretty cool. So, how did you escape from Monkey Island? How did you escape from Monkey Island? The last time I saw you, you were sitting on a shelf in LeChuck's Demonic Amusement Park. Ah, that's a tale of heart-stopping malice and evil. Is it? Well, naturally. It all started a few months ago. As usual, I was sitting on my shelf, working on my plans to conquer the world. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, the amusement park exploded with a blast of demonic heck fire. Uh, it was those hydrogen-filled LeChuck balloons, right? I knew they were trouble. It was those hydrogen-filled LeChuck balloons, right? I knew they were trouble. No, it was LeChuck. Apparently his flaming beard melted its way through his icy tomb, freeing him. I knew I should have given him a shave before I left. <laughs> but what caused the explosive blast of demonic heck fire? Oh, he was just letting off a little steam. Steam, <laughs> Brilliant. <get> <laughs> Good one, Murray. I thought Not. it was funny. Uh, I love how Guybrush's head like nods up and down. Watch him when Murray's speaking. <laughs> So after the Chuck escaped, how did you end up here? And also, Guybrush doesn't seem too phased by the fact that Guybrush has once again... Uh, sorry, but the fact that LeChuck has once again escaped. I don't know. I guess he's beaten him three times already, so he doesn't really see him as a threat anymore. So after LeChuck escaped, how did you end up here? After his escape, LeChuck is <laughs> destroying his theme park <laughs> in a fit of demonic rage. Although personally, I think he was just colossally embarrassed by the whole thing. I mean, really, what kind of a demonically evil scheme involves roller coasters and cotton candy yeah, anyway? True. Enough editorializing. <laughs> How'd you wind up here? Oh, that. Well, one of the explosions flung me out to sea, where, ironically, I landed on the shattered remnants of a Midway Dark game. Oh. After weeks at sea, I drifted ashore on this delightfully evil isle, where Ozzy Mandrill man after my own blackened soul gave me a job at this fine establishment Mwah. uh you know the tale of your exodus wasn't particularly filled with heart stopping malice and evil you know the tale of your exodus wasn't particularly filled with heart stopping malice and evil are you kidding it had lechuck ozzy and yours truly how much more evil can you get 
Good point. Mm, yeah. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm the greeter slash bouncer of Planet Freepwood. The creme de oh. la creme in pirate theme family style, all together evil dining. Murray! All right, <laughs> I added the evil part. <laughs> I can't imagine how you'd be a very good bouncer. <laughs> You're just a head man. I can't imagine how you could be a very good bouncer. Why not? Well, for starters, you've got no arms. Evil needs no arms. Watch. You, over there with the face. Oh, who, me? Yes, you. I want you out of the restaurant now. Oh, but I'm not. Talk to the hand, mortal. Uh, what hand? Don't play <laughs> smart with me, fleshbag. Out, out, out. <laughs> Impressive. I don't imagine you get much repeat business, though. Uh, so how do you like this job? So, how do you like this job? Personally, I preferred it when I was just the greeter. It really allowed me plenty of time to work on my evil dreams. Mm, but I can when see. Lopo the bouncer monkey ran away, they needed someone to double on bouncer duty, and I really needed the money. Murray, <laughs> what do you need money for? To finance my diabolical schemes, of course. Oh, yeah, of course. Do you have any idea how much it costs to hire a fleet of Scandinavian barbarians these days? Mm, no. How would you like to become an integral part of a powerful voodoo talisman? How would you like to become an integral part of a powerful voodoo talisman? Is it an evil talisman? Potentially. What's it called? The ultimate insult. The ultimate... Don't be naive, mortal. The ultimate insult is too powerful to be wielded by the likes of you. But I need a headpiece, and you'd be perfect. See? You fool! This diagram clearly indicates you need a monkey head. I am a human head. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I just thought... Well, think a little harder. I want no part of this ultimate insult tomfoolery. You sure? Are you sure you don't want to be a part of the ultimate insult? Absolutely not. I may be evil, but I'm not crazy. Okay. Well, I gotta go. I gotta go. Stop by any time for more pirate-themed fun and evil. <laughs> Okay, it's good Where to see Murray again. Where do the real pirates go when they're looking for buccaneer-style family dining at a reasonable price? Why, Planet Threepwood, of course. Come yeah, on. of course. Uh, let's have a look in here. Why has a restaurant been named after us? Great chefs of the Tri-Island area. Stainless steel chef, copper chef, tin chef. I've never heard of any of these guys. <laughs> What's on the specials? On today's menu is Swordmaster's Delight, Guybrush's Mighty Pirate Burger, Lobster LeChuck, and Elaine's Caesar salad. Big money <laughs> like myself can't live on salads. Today's special drinks are Largo's lemonade and Fat Fizz. Lots of Easter eggs there. The best and only fish. Planet Threepwood. This place must be good. Yeah, it's the Golden Fish Award. Planet Threepwood has won the Golden Fish Award in Jambalaya Town. Nice. I mean, isn't it the only restaurant in Jambalaya Town? <laughs> uh, I can't remember what we actually have to do in here, you know. Let's, um... Come on, turn. Thank you. Let's go down to the bar. Um, yeah, I don't remember if we have to do anything in here or not, to be honest. Eh, at least this place has a bar. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I don't see anything that looks particularly familiar. Should we talk to this guy? Excuse me. Yes, would you like a free pirate caricature? Uh, free pirate caricature? Free pirate caricature? Yes, to help promote the zany swashbuckling atmosphere of Planet Threepwood. Ozzy Mandrill Enterprises has hired me, Christopher Kilometer, to render free pirate themed caricatures of our guests. Would you like one? Uh, sure. Sure, why not? Wonderful. Just a moment. You know what I like about pirates? They're so active and healthy. You know, all that sword fighting and sailing. Really outdoorsy stuff. What's your favorite pirate activity? Uh. Smell of gunpowder. If you ask me, nothing compared to the thrill of uncovering buried treasure. Uh, buried treasure. If you ask me, nothing can compare to the thrill of uncovering buried treasure. But you should always be careful to lift from the legs, or else you could throw your back out. <laughs> you know what else I like about pirates? They're wacky, madcap accessories. Pegs, patches, parrots, hooks. They're just so darned whimsical. What's your favorite pirate accessory? Uh, peg legs? Eye patch? Parrot? Peg legs. I guess those peg legs are pretty funny looking. Of course, most of those guys lost their legs to gangrene and sharks, so it's not really haha -ha funny. You know what I can't figure out about pirates? What? I shudder to think. What do they do in their spare time? They can't uh... spend their entire lives fighting, sailing, and quenching, can they? I guess not. Of course not. So, what do you think pirates do in their off hours? 
Uh, cut off around the fire with a good book. Spend the weekends doing chores. More pirates spending free time on the internet. If what I've heard is true, more and more pirates are spending their free time on the internet. I have no idea what it is, but I'll try to do it. I wonder if there's a special combination we've got to do with that. Done. Here you are, sir. Seems kind of familiar. Thank you for your patronage, and enjoy your visit to the happiest island on Earth. Thanks. Hmm. Can we look at this? He made me look all goofy and cartoony, with a pile of treasure and a peg leg, swinging a dead mouse around while entangled in a fishing net. <laughs> Let's, um, look at it. Huh. I've got a feeling all goofy and cartoony. that we've got to use that on something. And a peg leg, swinging a dead mouse around while I don't know. In a fishing net. We might have to come back to this because I've got a funny feeling we have to get him to draw a specific picture. Although I can't really remember what it is. Um, but, you know, I'm sure we'll come across something. Is that Murray's arm? Let's say. I'm sure it said Murray's arm. It is, look. I wonder if Murray knows that they have his arm on display in here. <laughs> it's crazy. Mate, can you move, please? Thank you. Do you have to talk to this lady over here? Excuse me. Hi, I'm Elaine, and I'll be your waitress this afternoon. <laughs> Would you like to hear about today's special? Uh, I'd love to hear about today's special. I'd love to hear about today's special. We call it Stan's Budget Bologna Sub. <laughs> it's four pieces of bologna, ham, and turkey smothered in three types of cheese on rye bread. Ew. <laughs> That's funny. We've been getting that reaction all day. I wonder why that is. What kind of place is this, anyway? What kind of place is this, anyway? This is Planet Threepwood, one of a chain of restaurants dedicated to showcasing the exploits of the Tri-Island area's most famous pirate, Guybrush Threepwood. That's me. Uh. That explains why it looks like my life has been vomited all over the walls. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. I'm not too thrilled about this place. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm not too thrilled about this place. <laughs> That's a good one, sir. What? Everyone knows that Guybrush Threepwood is about six foot four, has a scar about yay long over his left eye, and a big black parrot. No, really, I can prove it. Ask me something only Guybrush Threepwood would know. Okay. What are your parents' names? Oh. Uh, George and Gracie? George and Gracie? Ha! Everyone knows their names were Harry and Carrie. Oh, I didn't. Then maybe you aren't really Guybrush Threepwood. I guess not. Uh, so who are you supposed to be? So who are you supposed to be? I'm Lane Marley, the pirate princess of Melee Island. Hey, baby. You can be my Lane. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Whose brilliant idea was this anyway? Whose brilliant idea was this anyway? Planet Threepwood is a wholly owned subsidiary of Ozymandrill Enterprises. Oh, of course I it is. I should have guessed. Uh, I think I'm ready to order. I think I'm ready to order. What'll it be? Uh, Swordmaster's like Guybrush Mighty Pirate Burger. Guybrush's Mighty Pirate Burger sounds good. I thought it might. And to drink? Uh, fat Fizz, please. I'll have a Fat Fizz. A popular choice, sir. And how will you be paying? Uh, why should I pay? This place wouldn't exist if it weren't for me. Why should I pay? This place wouldn't exist if it weren't for me. This place wouldn't exist if it weren't for Ozzy Mandrill, sir. And you don't look like him. In any event, don't bother me again until you have some way of paying for your meal. No. Excuse me. Hi, I'm Elaine, and I'll be your waitress this afternoon. She just forgotten. I'm looking for the ultimate insult. I'm looking for the ultimate insult. I've never heard of that. Is it on the menu? I don't think so. If it's not on the menu, then we don't make it. Okay. Uh... Come to think of it, I need a few more minutes. Let me know when you're ready to order. I'm sure we have to get that guy to draw a picture, but I just can't remember what he's got to draw. Um, let's talk to this guy. Why is he, like, walking? That was a very Pardon weird way. Uh, you're a little goofy looking for a pirate, aren't you? You're a little goofy looking for a pirate, aren't you? Oh, oh gosh, me a pirate, don't I wish now? Pirates are the coolest. I'm a vacationing pet shop clerk, don't you know? Uh, aren't you afraid of encountering real pirates? Aren't you afraid of encountering real pirates? Oh, nah. Everyone knows that Ozymandrill swept the island clean of those, you know, those real scary pirates. Well, thanks to him, I can indulge my passion for pirate memorabilia, if you must know. Right. Without the hassle of dealing with actual pirates. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say if I told you you were looking at a real pirate now? What would you say if I told you you were looking at a real pirate right now? 
Oh, get out of here right now. Real pirates have scars and ferrets and peg legs, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You look more like one of those squeaky clean pirate performers that Mandrill's hired to entertain the tourists. But I am a real pirate. I'm Guybrush Throughput. But I am a real pirate. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, don't be stupid now. The real Guybrush Threepwood is over seven feet tall, wears a hat dripping with the blood of his enemies, and he has the ghost of his favorite parrot perched on his shoulder there. Right there, yeah. Wow. That's not what that I'm lady said. Than I thought. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm looking for the pieces of the ultimate insult. I'm looking for the pieces of the ultimate insult. Is that one of Planet Threepwood's toy giveaways? No. no. It's a volatile voodoo talisman of indescribably psyche-destroying power. I'm trying to stop an undead evil pirate from assembling it. Oh, cripes. A quest? This is just like my pirate role-playing games at home. <laughs> what does this ultimate insult look like? Uh, this. One of the pieces looks like a golden man. One of the pieces looks like a golden man. Sounds like my yellow Avenger action figure back home in Ashkash. I don't think that's it. No. Um, one of the pieces looks like a bronze pirate hat. One of the pieces looks like a bronze pirate hat. Hmm. <laughs> nope, I, uh, I guess I don't have the experience points to come up with a clue. Oh, this guy's annoying. One of the pieces looks like a silver monkey head. One of the pieces looks like a silver monkey head. A silver monkey head, eh? Oh, that sounds like the silver monkey mug they use for special occasions here at Planet Threepwood. <gasps> ah. You think the silver monkey mug is one of the pieces, huh? I'd risk half my hit points on it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we need to get a special occasion. Uh, I've had just about enough talking about the ultimate insult for now. Interesting. Well, fine. Anyway, I'll be on my I'll way. I'll just be on my way. Bye -bye so we now. need to somehow order a drink in that mug then, I'm guessing, right? There's nobody here. Bet there's someone here when a customer tries to leave, though. Yeah, I bet. Um, interesting. How are we going to... Oh. I think we have to get him to draw a monkey head. And then, if I remember right, we'd stick it onto here and then swap it with the silver monkey mug. But I can't remember how we get them to bring out the silver monkey mug. I don't think we have to pretend this guy brushes birthday or something. Hmm, I don't know. We'll figure that out in the next one because we are out of time pretty much. So we'll leave it there and uh, I'll have a little think, try and refresh my memory and try and figure out what to do next. Um, so yeah, progress has been made. It was good to see Murray again, wasn't it? He's a good little character. I love Murray. Not so fearsome anymore. I mean, he never was fearsome, but he's even less fearsome now that he's a bouncer. Um, <laughs> yeah. This game's crazy. It really is, but I love it. Um, so, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.